Hi guys. When your keyboard stops working, you're essentially left to use your PC with a handicap. However, we're here to help you restore your keyboard into working order with this video. We were able to collect the most common causes reported by Windows 10 users and made a list that might have a cause that applies to you as well. Your keyboard is damaged. Physical damage can cause issues when you're trying to use your keyboard. Especially in the case of a USB keyboard, make sure to inspect both the body and the connecting cable for any signs of damage. Your battery is low. If you use a wireless keyboard, ensure that the battery is charged. If needed, change the battery. Your drivers are missing or updated. Driver updates are needed to make sure your computer parts all function as intended, even if they aren't natively supported by Microsoft. If correct keyboard drivers are missing or updated, your device may not work. You're using the wrong USB port. It's possible that you've plugged your keyboard into a USB port it's not compatible with. You may also have a damaged USB port that needs to be replaced. Your power settings are poorly configured. Windows 10 has many power saving options. One of these functions allows your computer to turn off inactive devices, possibly turning your keyboard off. Windows 10's filter key bug. There's a known bug in Windows 10's filter key feature which causes issues with typing on the login screen. At the time of writing, Windows 10 updates released by Microsoft seem to fix this. A new major Windows 10 update. Sometimes major Windows 10 updates can break things on your computer. Before troubleshooting, we recommend turning on the on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. This will allow you to follow instructions even if you need to type something in or press keys on the keyboard. Here's how to turn on the on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. Click on the Windows icon in your taskbar and choose Settings. Choose the Ease of Access tile. Scroll down in the left side panel, then click on Keyboard listed under the Interaction section. Click on the toggle under Use the on-screen keyboard to turn on the virtual keyboard in Windows 10. Before jumping into any complicated methods, we'd like to address a quick and easy fix that's able to fix issues with the keyboard. All you have to do is simply press the Windows plus space bar keys on your keyboard simultaneously. A considerable amount of users have reported that by doing this, their keyboard has started working again. Method 2, Turn off the filter keys feature. Press the Windows plus R keys using the on-screen keyboard to bring up the run utility. Then type in Control, and click the OK button. This is going to open the control panel. Make sure that your view mode is set to category. Next, click on the Ease of Access heading. Click on the Change How Your Keyboard Works link found in the Ease of Access Center. Make sure that the checkbox next to turn on filter keys is empty. If you see a check mark, simply click on it to remove it. Click the Apply button, then click OK. You should be able to test if your keyboard functions as intended now. Method 3. Uncheck the Allow the Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power option. Right-click Windows icon, and select Device Manager option from the menu. Expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers menu by clicking on the arrow next to it. Double-click on the USB your keyboard is connected to, usually either USB Root Hub or Generic USB Hub. Then switch over to the Power Management tab in the new window. Uncheck the box next to Allow the Computer to Turn Off This Device to Save Power, then click OK. Restart your device and see if you still experience the same issues with the keyboard. Method 4. Use the Windows 10 Keyboard Troubleshooter. Click on the Windows icon in your taskbar and choose Settings. Search for Fix Keyboard using the integrated search in the Settings application, then click on Find and Fix Keyboard Problems. Click the Next button to start the troubleshooter. You should see that Windows is detecting issues. If any issues were successfully identified, you can follow the on-screen instructions to attempt an automatic fix. Method 5. Update your drivers. Outdated drivers can cause a whole bunch of issues on your system. Make sure to update them in order to possibly fix any issues with your keyboard on Windows 10. Right-click Windows icon, and select Device Manager option from the menu. Expand the keyboard's menu by clicking on the arrow next to it. Right-click on your keyboard listed in the menu and choose Update Driver. Allow Windows 10 to look for the newest driver on your local computer or online, then follow any on-screen instructions. If you don't have the time, patience or computer skills to update your keyboard driver manually, you can, instead, do it automatically with Driver Easy. Driver Easy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct driver for your exact keyboard and your variant of Windows version, and it will download and install them correctly.
We hope that this video was able to help you restore your keyboard.